Today we will have a look at the Eurofighter Typhoon. There are presently six developments with examples of the Typhoon, and I will cover four of the better ones. The Flyaway Sim and the AFS design models are very basic, and so will not be covered here. The Alpha Sim is an old, upgraded freeware model. The DMAX 3D is a medium quality freeware model for X-Plane 11. The Just Flight offering is a six-year-old medium quality model. And Dino's TACPAC compatible Typhoon is a high quality, almost study level model. The Four Nation Eurofighter Typhoon is a four plane, delta wing, beyond visual range, close air fighter aircraft with surface attack capability. Eurofighter has super cruise capability in that it can fly at sustained speeds of over Mach 1 without the use of afterburner. Development of the aircraft has been carried out by Eurofighter GmbH based in Munich and wholly owned by BAE Systems of the UK, Alenia Aeronautica of Italy and the EADS Deutschland, formerly Daimler Chrysler, and the EADS Spain, formerly CASA. The aircraft will remain in service until 2040. Looking at the design, the aircraft is constructed of carbon fibre composites, glass reinforced plastic, aluminium lithium, titanium and aluminium casting. Stealth technology features include low frontal radar cross-section, passive sensors and supercruise ability. The four-plane and delta configuration is intentionally aerodynamically unstable which provides a high level of agility, particularly at supersonic speeds, low drag and enhanced lift. The pilot controls the aircraft through a computerized digital fly-by-wire system, which provides artificial stabilization and gust elevation to give good control characteristics throughout the flight envelope. In the cockpit, the pilot's control system is a voice throttle and stick system. The stick and throttle tops house 24 fingertip controls, a sensor and weapon control, defense aids management, and in-flight handling. The direct voice input allows the pilot to carry out mode selection and data entry procedures using voice command. The quadruplex fly-by-wire flight control system has an automatic low-speed recovery system which provides the pilot with visual and audio low-speed warning and will, if necessary, automatically take control of the aircraft and return to safe flight. The BAE Systems Striker helmet-mounted symbology system and head-up display show the flight reference data, weapon aiming and queuing, and the forward-looking infrared imagery. BA Systems Turprom ground proximity warning system is being fitted. The cockpit has three multifunction color head-down displays, which show the tactical situation, system status and EADS digital map displays. An international consortium, Euro MIDS, which includes Datalink solutions of the US, supplies the MIDS low volume terminal, which provides Link 16 capability for secure transfer of data. Raytheon Systems Limited is supplying anti-jam global positioning 
systems for Trench 2. Northrop Grumman was awarded a contract in August 2010 for inertial measurement units to be installed in Tranche 3A. The IMUs will be fitted with inertial sensors and built-in redundancy. It was built as part of the aircraft's flight control system. Looking at the weapons, the internally mounted Mauser BK 27mm gun is a revolver gun system with a linkless closed ammunition feed system. The Typhoon has 13 hard points for weapon carriage, four under each wing and five under the fuselage. An armament control system manages weapon selection and firing and monitors weapon status. Depending on the role, the fighter can carry the following mix of missiles. An air superiority mix, an air interdiction mix, a suppression of enemy air defences mix, a multi-role mix, a close air support mix, and a maritime attack mix. The UK RAF has selected MBDA Meteor for the Beyond Visual Range requirement and Raytheon AMRAM until Meteor enters service. Meteor uses a new air-breathing ramjet motor for increased range and manoeuvrability. Meteor was fitted from around the year 2013. The RAF Typhoons carry the NBDA Storm Shadow Scalp EG Standoff Cruise Missile, which entered operational service on Tornado aircraft in March 2003, and also the NBDA Brimstone Anti-Armor Missile, which entered service with the initial operation capability on the RAF Tornado GR4 aircraft in March 2005. Italian aircraft are also armed with Storm Shadow. Looking at the engines, four global companies have jointly developed the high-performance EJ200 power plants that each provide 90,000 newtons of thrust from a small, lightweight engine with high strength and high temperature capability. The two-spool design with single-stage turbines drives the three-stage fan and five-stage high compression compressor with annular combustion with vaporizing burners. This allows the Typhoon to cruise at supersonic speeds without the use of reheat for extended periods. The engines deliver 1,000 flying hours without needing unscheduled maintenance through the use of advanced integrated health monitoring for class-leading reliability, maintainability and through-life cost. Looking at the airframe, the aircraft is built with advanced composite materials to deliver a low radar profile and strong airframe. Only 15% of the aircraft's surface is metal, delivering stealth operation and protection from radar-based systems. Pilots were included in the design from the earliest stages to develop a deliberately unstable airframe that can still be flown effectively. This delivers both superior maneuverability at subsonic speeds and efficient supersonic capability to support the widest range of combat scenarios. Strong, lightweight composite materials were key to the design of the Eurofighter Typhoon to give it deliberate instability. Using them means the weight of the airframe is 30% less than for traditional materials 
boosting range and performance, as well as reducing the radar signature. Class leading sensors give the pilot the unparalleled situational awareness, seamlessly integrating data and updating the battle space picture for actionable intelligence. The fusion information superiority allows the pilot to dominate the battle space. The pirate radar is the first in the world design derived from the weapon system specification and an ideal supplement to radar and the defensive aid subsystem. With its passive sensors, it allows it to simultaneously detect and track multiple and manoeuvring targets. Looking at the cockpit, throughout the design process of the Typhoon, the needs of the single seat pilot have been paramount. This has meant high levels of attention have been paid to the control and information interfaces throughout the unique glass cockpit, from the head up, head down and head out systems to all round vision. High workload situations were analysed to establish information priorities and to automate tasks. The advanced cockpit design and layout is based on an extensive series of formal assessments in a rapid prototype facility undertaken by operational pilots from air forces flying the Typhoon. Using and upgrading the advanced digital technology not only enhances operation and survivability, but also simplifies aircraft maintenance. The Typhoon's wide-angle head-up display provides the pilot with stable, accurate, high-integrity, low-latency, eyes-out guidance in a compact package. The head-up display offers high performance and is compatible with night vision and laser protection goggles. Three full color multifunction head down displays are used for the overall tactical situation, presenting the attack situation, attack formats, map displays and air traffic procedures in addition to system status and checklists. The Typhoon utilizes a unique helmet-mounted symbology system alongside six other pilot display surfaces. The helmet system provides flight reference and weapon data aiming through the visor. It is fully compatible with night vision aids using light intensification and forward-looking infrared imagery. It therefore offers pilots a significant competitive advantage. The helmet is composed of an outer helmet, inner helmet, optic blasts display visor, oxygen mask, night vision enhancement camera and head position tracking system. The flight control system is a full authority and quadruplex digital system which allows carefree handling and maneuvering in all situations. Its intuitive operation is designed to enable the pilot to concentrate on the tactical tasks and to fly the aircraft head up in combination with the HOTAS hand on throttle and stick concept applied to cockpit design. The Mark 16A ejection seat on the Typhoon is 30% lighter than equivalent ejection seats. This is achieved by combining the twin ejection gun outer cylinder tubes as both the propulsion system and the seat's primary structure. The narrow head box also contributes to the Typhoon's excellent rear vision. Hope you liked all that and see you next time.